Hello you gorgeous people over the interwebs, I hope you're having a fan derby dozy day today. Today I've been tagged to share with you my five, yes, five most used bags this year, so far 2023. The mighty Minnie of Minx for All, you know her, you love her, shared her five most used luxury handbags of the year and a uh, Juji Jerusha Couture decided that she was going to do the same video, but she was going to turn it into a tag. So she did a little, little flicky switcheroo. She turned it into a tag. She tagged my good friend Amelia Rose of Amelia Rose's closet. She is a fan of bright colours, all of the bright colours, but especially pink. She tagged me, and she wasn't the only one. Cammy's closet. I don't know how she feels about hot pink. The jury's out on that one. Cammy, let me know. Cammy tagged me as well, as did Fuchsia Floyd. The name would give you an indication. She is also a lover of pink. And on this very day, this very day of filming, I was also tagged by the fabulous, bold and beautiful Nick of Living Life Loud with NJS. And yes, you've guessed it, he is a fellow pink lover. All of those fabulous YouTube creators will be linked in my description down below, so go and check them out if you don't know who I'm talking about. You should know them all. You should know them all by now. At first, I thought this was going to be an easy peasy lemon squeezy tag to do. I only had to pick five. Just five only had to pick five. But then I remembered I moved house in December 2022, so the first part of this year, 2023, has been a little bit of a chaos. It's been a little bit chaotic. And for the first couple of months, maybe two and a half months, there was only one bag I actually had access to at all. So it goes without saying that I used that one the most. And that bag is my mini Fendi baguette in the black leather. This is an absolutely beautiful, versatile bag and I've used her every which way. I have used her as a clutch going for din dins, dinner date with the lion. I've used the little top handle, the detachable top handle. I've used the chain and leather crossbody strap and I've also used my favourite Fendi strap, the one that started off my Fendi fever, the first piece I ever bought from Fendi. Um, I have used this bag every which way and as I said this was the only one I actually had available to me for about two and a half months while the others were all still packed away from the move. So that's an easy start right? Yeah, only had access to one bag, could only use one bag for the first part of 2023 and then my shelves came out and all the bags came out of my packing or my suitcases that I had stuffed them into very gently because I'm a good bag mama. Um, they all came out from their hibernation and they were put out on my shelves and although I do have my favourites, yes I do have my favourites, I have been making a concerted effort to switch between them all so actually <laughs> it is really difficult for me to pick out the ones that I have used the absolute most. Another obvious one that I've used the most, I've got them all here and the reason I'm sitting here with this planar backdrop behind me, I'm in the corner where my mirror is, is um, so you don't see the shelves behind me which things are missing because I've got them on the floor next to me. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I was a bit sneaky there. But let me know if you like the sort of more plain backdrop, nothing to detract, or are you like, Gwenny, we, uh, we'll listen to you prattle on, but only if we can look at your bags in the background. And um, the second bag that I have used the most this year is the Marc Jacobs. This is the denim mini tote. And I've got my little Year of the Rabbit ceramic dangly on it. Um, I have used this so much, it's a little bit dusty in there. Use it so much because it's a it's a great it's been a great chuck everything in and just go. Go to the doctor's, got loads of paperwork in there. 
go wherever, put your umbrella in here, sunnies in the big hard case because my sunnies are a little bit on the big side and, and sometimes I don't want to get them squished in their little thin fabric case. So this has been a fantastic grab and go and it just sits there. I don't have to do anything with it. I very rarely, um, very rarely, I have never used the shoulder crossbody strap. I have used this exclusively as a top handle bag and I have loved it and I have used it really quite a lot actually. I think I have used this more than I expected to use it. If you're new to my channel then hiya I'm Gwenny and I love luxury in all of its glorious forms and if you love luxury in all of its glorious forms get down there. Hit subscribe and ring my bell so you don't miss out on any of my luxury based shenanigans. Show the videos you enjoy the thumbs up love and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Matte lipstick does it every time. I've got three more pieces of eye candy for you and these are uh, the next two are in no particular order and I'm going to save probably my most used since everything has been out and available to me uh, bag until last so the next one is going to be uh, this is my coach beat 18 from the Basquiat collection with the famous and everything on it, all the uh, Basquiat artwork on it. Very divisive, people have very mixed opinions about this, even the lion thinks it just looks like a child has scribbled on it, but I love that, I love that illustration. This bag um, is small, it doesn't hold a huge amount in there, but it does hold my card holder, keys, lippy, you know, those kind of basic things. Um, I can balance my sunnies on top and just very gingerly close the flap down on it. But one of the, my favourite things about this bag is the basic human right of having a rear slip pocket. So I can pop my phone in there and it's easily accessible and I don't have to get in and out of the bag all of the time. So I have used this. Again, I have not used the crossbody strap that comes with it and I don't think I've ever used the chain strap that comes with it. Not even as um, decoration really. I almost exclusively, in fact I do exclusively use this as a top handle bag and I love it. I think it's a great bag. It is so much fun. The next bag was a bit of a surprise to me when I thought about it. She is the newest addition to my little bag fam. She is of course, yeah she's so pretty, she's so pretty. This is my um, Fendi Peekaboo from the 25th Baguette Anniversary Collection. Wow what a mouthful and she has got this lovely little gorgeous Fendi Rappy um, on there that my sales associate, my client advisor, very kindly put on there and I've uh, tried very hard not to uh, screw it up since it's been on there because I won't make it look this nice again. This surprised me because I have been scared to use this bag. She is the newest, she is the most expensive in my collection. She is smooth leather. She's not all kind of rugged, all types of you know pebbled leather that can withstand a bashing and and uh, not show any creases and all of that kind of stuff. She has terrified me and I have forced myself to use her. I used her and I used her crossbody with my Fendi strap on a trip back to our old town on public transport, no less, on public transport terrified about her getting bashed into chairs and all sorts of things like that on the train and scuffed and what have you um but I have used her a lot and I do try and use her I used her last week when we went out for dinner with friends on Thursday and she did have to sit on the floor but she's got the basic human right she has got feet I'm keeping the sangles open at the moment um, so she's a bit easier to get in and out of and uh, although I am keeping the rain jacket with me I'm popping it in that front pocket because I tend to find that I don't actually use the front pocket for anything um, I just pop everything in the two main compartments and dip in and out to get to them so yes I was surprised that this makes my five most used bags um, so far of 2023 uh, because I was just so terrified of her. 
just so terrified of her. And the last bag that I have used the absolute most in 2023 so far is my fifth choice is my <laughs> I'm in there at the moment it's my Lueve mini puzzle and at the moment she is she is carrying my little Louis precious tiger from the um year of the tiger last year 2022 year of the tiger um spring festival uh, collection now this bag I have used it probably the most second most it's probably a very very close tie between this and the Marc Jacobs tote bag in fact it probably does just about overtake the Marc Jacobs tote bag um most used bag most used bag um, of this year once I had everything available to me and again almost exclusively from the top handle she is stuffed at the moment I've got Gucci Sunnies in the soft case there just drop stuff on the floor and in there you can see I've got my Fendi card holder my Louis clay my Gucci clay my Louis round coin purse and um, me Gucci lippy now most used not to say without a few little gripes I've used her almost exclusively as a top handle the size and shape means that she is perfect to sit in the central reservation in the car central reservation that's on a road you know the little buckety bit in a car and um, she sits in there and actually when we did some um car shopping at the weekend a couple of the cars had the bigger buckets in there and she just slotted in perfectly and i thought oh we should get this car and then the next one did it and i was like we should get this car because my bag fits in there <laughs> ridiculous i know light easy squishy it's got that pebbled leather so she is you know pretty robust and everything um a couple of things that do annoy me though it doesn't stop me from using it but it does annoy me now the the actual getting in and out not so much of a problem it's when you take anything out that's when you've got it all stacked up in here upright and then you take something out and then and i'm going to force it to happen because it's not going to do it because it's on camera everything just falls flat and sort of stacks on on each other and uh, that annoys me a little bit so I just need to be a bit careful when I do that when I do do that uh, but otherwise it's an easy you get in there and everything's stacked and really really easy to find the biggest problem I have and probably one of the reasons why I don't use a crossbody quite so much is these these lobster clips they don't swivel there's no swivelage here and um, so you have to be really careful about which way round you have them to make sure when you put it over your shoulder you don't get like a bit of a twist because one of them is the wrong way round and I've done it I, I only did this I only put this on yesterday and it's um i don't know i'm pretty sure i put it on correctly but it's not correct now so that's something that i think lueve could potentially do to improve this bag but otherwise she's an absolute little cracker there are two things that surprised me about these choices when i actually did the deep dive and worked out what i had been using most this year and that is they are all basically top handled bags okay yes you can you can crossbody every single one of them but I have chosen not to if I had been doing this five most used bags at the beginning of 2022 maybe definitely beginning of 2021 um it would have been if it ain't a crossbody I ain't interested in using it because that was how I used to roll now I am into the top handle bags now is that a change in style a change in functionality a change in my circumstances that I'm not commuting quite as much as what well, at all now not commuting not going to the office um I don't have to go on public transport anymore I don't go out quite as much as I used to full stop or is it just good old-fashioned growth growth in one's person that has made me start to open my eyes and investigate other bag types and um yeah i am i'm i'm loving me i'm loving me a cheeky little top handle yes i can't get enough of them 
I see more top handle bags in my, maybe not immediate, but in my future. Okay, the second thing that really, really surprised me about this selection is, none of them are pink. I know, I was shocked when I found out too. And looking at my collection as a whole, I don't have enough pink bags. I've got my pink Alexander McQueen. I've got my pink rainbow Gucci um, children's tote that Winnie BLV sent me for my birthday Christmas present last year. She is a very naughty girl. I've got my Mulberry Lily in a really dark, sort of darker than this uh, foxglove pink. I have got, just checking, I've just got my little Longchamp mini um, extra small Le Pliage from the Andre um, collaboration they did. I don't have anywhere near as many pink bags as I should have. I mean, I'm not saying I should have Amelia levels of pink bags, but there should be somewhere in between. Somewhere between four and all of the bags. I should be sitting somewhere in between those two um, measurements let me know in the comment section down below if you're surprised by any of these choices that I have shared with you today. Let me know in the comment section down below what has been your most used bag thus far of 2023. Thank you again to everyone who has tagged me. Amelia, Cam Camilla, I was gonna say Camilla, I've still got the King's Coronation on my brain. Amelia, Cammy, Eva and Nick, Thank you so much everybody for tagging me to do this video. It was a fun one, even though it did have me hacking my brains somewhat. And until I see you, yes you, boop, for the next video, please stay safe, be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, stay fan dabby dozy and bye bye. <coughs> bye bye. <laughs>